Well, did you know you can become an organ donor while you're still alive and even healthy? Well, many of us are familiar with kidney donation, but you can also donate part of your liver too. And that's because the organ can regenerate almost entirely within a month. As Denver 7's Rob Harris shows us, it can save the life of someone with little time to spare. It's very calming for me. Amy Donegan isn't one to brag about her painting skills. This is my time. But painting has become a way for her to slow down time when it can feel she doesn't have much time left. There are definitely good days and bad days. Yesterday was a bad day. I was in, in bed all day. Two years ago, Donegan was diagnosed with nodular regenerative hyperplasia, a rare, incurable disease that affects blood flow through the liver. The time of her diagnosis, doctors gave her five years to live. Didn't see my life going that way. <laughs> that was my initial reaction. And yeah, it's a gut punch. You know, you just don't expect things like that. The disease has progressed even more quickly than anticipated. Last year, Donegan lost about 25 pounds and doctors gave her about a year left on her current trajectory. But she was also given a new source of hope. I felt like there's something that we can do. When the doctor said a liver transplant's an option, um, we got going on that and and uh, we're now working hard to find a liver donor. Because of Donegan's specific condition, her doctors have recommended a living donor transplant. None of her kids are a match, so now they're hoping an altruistic stranger raises their hand. The liver is the only organ uh, besides your skin that can regenerate. Uh, you can remove more than half your liver if you have a tumor in it, and you can remove more than half your liver and give it to someone else. Dr. James Burton is Donegan's primary liver doctor at UC Health, which has the largest network of altruistic living donation in the country. Dr. Burton says if a match is found, Amy Donegan's prognosis looks very good. My goal is that all her liver complications will disappear. By three months, <laughs> I would hope she's back to the normal Amy she was before. Did you want the little dinosaurs too, Ronan? The Donegan family is now daring to be hopeful too. They've already heard from some on social media who are going through living donor screening. And they hope the more who watch this story will do the same for Amy and for others like her fighting to stay alive. And there's a lot of kind, caring people. For Denver 7, we just need to find the right one to help us. I'm Rob Harris. It's an incredible gift to give. And if you want to learn more about the donation process, we have a link to UC Health's questionnaire on denver7.com. The process is completely confidential and no commitment is required.